What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be checking out this Red Arc 200 watt solar panel. Now it's also a portable solar panel, so it's not something you have to permanently mount to your rig and keep it in the same spot. You can see today we got a little bit of shade here. We actually, it works out because the extension cable and it being portable, we moved it away from our rig to actually get the maximum amount of sun to get that charge on our battery. Let's check it out. Today we're going to be focusing on the solar panel itself. So. This is going to be great if you already have the Red Arc set up, you've already got another solar panel, you got the charge controller, you got the extension cable. Now you can add this in there and have two panels up and running, but you're going to need a splitter with it too to hook up both of those either in series or parallel to the battery. That way you can use both of those. Now if you are starting from scratch and you don't have a solar panel and you're just now looking into it, you're trying to figure things out, I would go with one of the Red Arc kits because it's going to give you a lot of the key components you're going to need to hook it up. And that's just a better start than just getting everything one at a time. You want to at least get it together so you can start getting set up and actually get it working. This solar panel is rated for 200 watts. So that means if we got it out in the sun, 100% efficiency, if, like it's a nice day outside, there's no clouds, that means it has an output of 10 amps. So just keep that in mind when you're getting that all hooked up to your rig. This is a monocrystalline panel. So when it comes to solar panels, there's usually two different types. You got the polycrystalline and monocrystalline. Now this one's gonna be a little more expensive most of the time, but it's gonna be far more efficient. So I really like that part, especially when you're trying to get as much from the sun as you can. Maybe it's a little cloudy. I wanna make sure I get the panel, then get the most charge out of that. On the back side of the solar panel, you have an Anderson connection. So it's really easy to take apart or plug right back in. And that goes with a lot of their accessories. So the ones that hooks up to the battery and the extension cable, even the charge controller are all use this connection. So it makes it really easy to hook it up and get started. Also comes with its own carrying case. I really like that since it is portable and folding up is nice, but having the case to cover up and keep it protected wherever you go to store it is awesome. And then on the back side, it's got a nice pocket for any of the accessories. So if you have the extension cable, even the ones that hook up to the battery, you can store them here with the panel. That way you don't have to search for an independent, like where did I put those, what shelf is that on? It's all together in one spot. So then let me show you how easy it is to set up. Just unzip both sides. Case folds out. I'm gonna set it aside. And then I'm gonna set it up right here. So right here at the handle that's built in, that's nice, it makes it easier to carry that around too. And then when you go to unfold it, just set it up. Now we're gonna point it towards the sun. That way we get the maximum charge. So then we just pull out the kickstands and then lean it back. Then we come back here, plug in our extension cord, which is connected to our charge controller and it's all set up. Overall, I like the solar panel. It definitely works like it's supposed to, charging that battery, but really it gets compared to the Go Power ones a lot too, and it comes down to how you're gonna use it. So with this one, when you get the charge controller, you're gonna have to mount that on your rig, and if you've already got it, like you're just buying the solar panel, you probably already have it mounted, you already know this, but if you're new to this, you're gonna have to mount that somewhere, and then that's just another thing you gotta do to install it on the Go Power ones. The charge controller is built into the back of the solar panel, so if you really want a portable one, you don't have a space for that controller, and you wanna be able to move it wherever you want without having a big install process, I would go that way. Otherwise though, if you're adding this to your Red Arc kit already, it's gonna work great and do exactly what you need it to do. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out, and I hope this helped. 